I just can't get enough of the forms add-on. So I just went over how to use Choice Eliminator. Uh, hopefully you watched that. If you didn't, I would go back and watch the Choice Eliminator add-on first. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the exact same form and my second favorite Google Forms add-on, uh, Choice Notifications, to actually send an email to the person filling out the form. So uh, this is the exact same form that I use for Choice Eliminator. And if you weren't there, it's a way to eliminate uh, choices in a form so that I can set a threshold and only receive uh, as many of a certain um, choice option as I set. So in this case, I had it set that uh, I was going to meet with parents about their child, and I gave time slots Monday through Friday, 4.30 through 6.30 p.m., each at a half hour increment, and I used Choice Eliminator to say, I only want to meet with one parent per time slot. And one of the things you might notice, or if you were with me before, that when I chose five o'clock to meet and discuss my daughter Zoe, that choice now is eliminated for the next parent to fill out. And one of the things that I put on the form itself was a place for the parent to give me their first and last name, was a, pl a place for them to give me their student's name, and then also their email address. And I had said in the last uh, screencast there's a reason I needed the email address, and you're, I'm going to explain that here with Choice Eliminator. And so the parent would go through and make a choice on a day that they wanted to meet with me. And then uh, once they've done that, for the other days they didn't choose, they would just click Chose Another Day. And um, if you need to understand why, you can watch the other screencast. And so I've already filled this out as a parent. And uh, I'm going to show you how to use choice notifications to send the parent a confirmation email. So I'm going to go back to the form where I am. Uh, designing it and notice I'm in the edit questions and notice there's one response that was the response that I made in the previous screencast and so I'm gonna go back to my add-ons and just a reminder uh, add-ons are the way in which you can add functionality to your screencast I mean to your form I'm doing the screencast so I'm gonna click add-on and then I'm going to pick form notifications and then I'm going to say configure notifications so remember if you don't have this form notifications in your Google Forms you'll just go down there and click get add-ons and then you can search for it or it's usually one of the first ones available and choose it so I'm going to click configure notifications and when you do this with add-ons a little widget pops up and one of the things that I've done for this screencast is I've pre-populated it. So you have two choices, both of which I love for form notifications. One is notify me. So I like this would be a great option for something like this, where the parent would be filling something out, and I would want to know every time the parent filled it out. So notice I put in my email address and say, send me notifications, let's say, after every three responses. And then my second choice, or I could choose not to be notified at all. So my second choice is to notify the respondents. So this is what is so awesome about this. I can send parents an email. So notice I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose notify respondents. And then it asks which question ask for their email. Well, hopefully, if I did this right, email asks for their email. So I'm gonna click here and choose email as the option. And then I get to go in and, and change the notification email subject. And then I get to go in and change the notification email body. So if the parent put in an email, the parent has now requested a day and time to meet with me. They've included their email address. I use Choice Eliminator to eliminate the options uh, for the meeting date and time for the other parents. And now I'm using Form Notifier. Once I click Save here, the minute the, the um, parent fills it out, if they gave me a correct email address, here's what's going to happen. Here it is. Let's chat. So if you can't see it very well, let me pull it up. And you'll notice that it came from me, jhal 65 and it says, thank you for taking the opportunity to request a date and time to meet to discuss your child's progress. I will confirm the date and time within 48 hours with a follow-up email. Please don't hesitate to contact me with any questions or concerns. Peace, Jeff. So you can see that's exactly what I put in the notification email body. So how awesome is that? So I have the ability to collect information from a parent get their email, and then send them right away automated email response saying either 
thank you, I received your response, I'll get back to you with an answer, or it could be, you know, thank you, uh, I liked saying I will confirm, you know, within 48 hours the date and time, just in case for some crazy reason, two parents at the exact same time picked the exact same date and time, uh, that would give me some leeway to correct that, but form notifications, super easy, super cool, hope you can find a way to use it in your classroom. Please let me know if you have any questions.